Welcome to another episode of Two Guys, Two Flutes. Yeah, number 18. Number 18. That's a lot of champagne we're drinking. What is that? 36 bottles? 36 bottles? Yeah. Jeez. Six months? Six months? Six a month. <laughs> Does the math work out like that? I think. <laughs> I trust you. You have a math degree. Um, this is our Patreon episode. Yeah, it's today. pretty cool. Yeah, so we want to thank... Pretty much our family <laughs> <laughs> for, for buying us this wine. About buying us champagne. We have three champagne. Oh yeah, what are we doing today? We're doing a house taste assembly from Xavier Leconte. Yep, all three. Uh, we have three champagnes. We're not going to do a blind tasting. We're just gonna we're just gonna sample the three uh, champagnes. How do you think these hold hold up to those bigger uh, the bigger houses? Or, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. Let me try. All right. Um, keep watching as we get drunk. I'm Ryan. I'm Brad. This is two guys. Two flutes. Dude. We know that one. Hmm? We know that one. Yeah. So as we've been shooting our episodes, we've gotten a lot we've gotten a lot of uh, I don't know what you call it, advice? Yeah. Advice from our, um, people around the Seattle area saying we have to go to Fat Cork. For those of you who aren't in the area, Fat Cork is a uh, importer of just grower champagne. Um, and so we went down there and this is where we picked them up. Here's the um, Blanc de Noirs. Yeah. Here's the, I'm not sure which one this is. That's the house champagne. The house. Yeah. Oh, flip it around. That's oh, there's a yeah. case. Okay. Yeah. And here we have the, uh, the rosé. God, look at that color. That's like a salmon pinkish type thing, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I want to taste like salmon. <laughs> would you drink a salmon champagne? Once. You, oh, you have. Well, I would. Once. Oh, you would? All right, it's champagne drinking time. Are you excited? I'm always excited. Are you you going to get drunk today? Mm, nah. No. No? Not my style. Okay. So we're not doing a blind taste testing today. We're just going to drink the three. Um, first one up, I think, is the House Champagne, right? Yes. This is the House Champagne, 70% Chardonnay, 30% Pinot Noir. Um, one of the things I noticed immediately were how big the bubbles were in the Grower Champagne. Yeah, these are pretty giant. Compared to like the Cristal we had last week, which are very fine and you know a lot of finesse, these are much larger. And not quite as effervescent. Definitely creamy. Kind of reminds me of drinking a flat pop, though not bad. What do you think? That's better than other creamy ones I've had. Actually, I like this a lot, actually. Yeah, it's, it is definitely lacking in bubbles. But, um, I don't know how, what's that taste? This is a very drinkable champagne. I don't know. I get like a Granny Smith apple type taste to it. Do you taste that? Sort of that tartness? Yeah. Yeah. The tart champagne with a little bit of sweetness to it. Definitely a little fruity. Yeah. Pretty good though. All right, up next is the Pinot Noir. I'm sorry, the uh, Blanc de Noir. Blanc, yeah. This is 8% Pinot Meunier, right? Um, yeah, it's 80% Meunier. Interesting. Yeah, remember our uh, episode, our Blanc de Noir's episode, where we just had horrible champagnes? <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> yeah. The Dave and Naj Princes. Again, creamy. This is not a lot of effervescence to this. Mm -mm. I actually think this lacks in taste as well. It's kind of, what do you think? I mean, yeah, it's a good color, though. Yeah, it's kind of a, a deeper golden yellow. Almost called champagne. All right, let's do the... Uh, you know, we had a rosé episode once, and I don't think we liked it, did we? Not really. Yeah, we, but it was Cristal and Dom Perignon and rosés, right? This is a... I, I really like the color of this, though. I don't know if you guys can get this on film. It's kind of but coppery. Yeah, the, the light coming through it is copper. Although, if you block the light out, it's definitely like a salmon pink. Interesting smell, though. I, I guess strawberry. Mm -hmm. Definitely strawberry. Not salmon. <laughs> that is really fruity. A little too fruity, I think, for my taste. And that's saying a lot. So We open them pretty well, too. Yeah, the first one, what your champagne? Oh, I'm sorry, your flutes. The flutes? You know, I want to go... So the first one was the house champagne. It was yeah. about $50. Well, that's good for the price. Yeah. I'm going to go 0. 0.7. You're going to go... I'm going to go 0. 0.5. Whoa. Even though I did like it, I don't like the creaminess of any of these. I'm not, a, I'm not huge sold. Uh, the second one, which was the Blanc de Noirs. Mm -hmm. Point 
eight for me. Really? I like that one more, yeah. Wow, I'm shocked at how high you're, you're scoring these. This, this is about $70 um, at Fat Cork in Seattle. I'm going to give it a quarter flute. I would, I would never drink these. And I would drink those two again. This one, I would not drink. I want to go with a point four. Wow, yeah. This is actually the only vintage champagne we have of theirs. It's a 2008. Um, I didn't like it either. I'm going to give it another quarter flute. I would, just, I would never drink these champagnes. It's about $100. Really? Yeah. Rosés are always expensive. Yeah, rosés are about double usually. <clears throat> but it was our Patreon-supported uh, champagnes. So thank you. So thank you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Brad's mom and Brad's dad. And my mom. Who am I missing? Your sister. <clears throat> oh, my sister, yes. <clears throat> Anyone else? Nope. That's Can you it. think of anyone? No one else. No one else. Thank you, guys. <laughs> and Ella. Thank you, Ella. So Brad talked to me into shambonging both these again. I'm not... I don't know what it is about Sunday, man. It's a lazy Sunday. I'm just not... I'm not feeling it. Are you? I'm feeling it. You are? I'm always feeling it. I, I had a big birthday weekend, so I'm a little, uh... Yeah. A little partied out. My nephew was in town. We shot an episode. Did you? <laughs> no. He's like 10. All right. Which one do you want to do first? Uh, losers first. All right. So this is the House Champagne. This, this is the Chardonnay one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Not bad at all. That was much better. Very crisp. What it is about the Shambongs that just brings out the flavor. Very fruity. Mm -hmm. I like that. I'm going to give it about a 0.6, I think. 0.6, yeah. That's not that high on our 1 to 5 score. Oh, wait. That isn't that high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three. I'm going to give it a three. You know what? I'll give it a four. You're like that guy on The Price is Right. If I bet like $400, you would bet $401. I, I just know what it tastes for. Let's <laughs> try right. this one. This is the uh, Blanc de Noir, which is mostly Meunier, interestingly enough. It actually doesn't matter what grape it is in the, uh, Noir, in the Blanc de Noir, as long as it's all, all grape. Mm. Or, I'm sorry, all Noir or Meunier. Okay. Uh, yeah. Cheers. Oh, man, touch. Ugh. You beat me. Uh, that was not as good. Oh, wow. No, it is not. I'm going to give that one a point. A uh, point. <laughs> you ruined me. <laughs> that one's a three for me. That's a two for me. For the first one, I liked even in the glass, too. Mm -hmm. They were definitely a little bit more crisp. Um than in the uh, flutes. You think so? Yeah. All right, so this is a, was a house tasting of Xavier Lacan. What do you think? Would you do it again? Uh, Patreon's paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wink, wink, right? <laughs> really? I think we should, like, on the next Patreon episode, we should do something. Um, what should we do? Uh, I'm not sure. I think we should do, like, quadruple magnums. Quadruple magnums. Quadruple magnums. So tell your family and friends to sign up. <laughs> Yes, uh, if you can contribute like a meager thousand dollars an episode, that would help us out. <laughs> Stay bubbly. Oh, thanks for watching. <laughs>